There is a famous Indian saying, Jai Jivan, Jai Kisan, which means long live the soldier, long live the farmer. Both commit their lives to serving the land. This sentiment is perfectly captured in the mission of the Farmer Veteran Coalition, a nonprofit organization that provides resources to veterans who are interested in agricultural careers as well as supports veterans who are already farmers. Mark Bowen, the president of the Vermont chapter, joins us today with Ashley Harwood, the vice president. Mark, Ashley, welcome. Thank so, you. Vermont is one of the first chapters of the organization. How did you get involved with the Farmer Veteran Coalition? So, I was a member of the national organization before we had a chapter here in Vermont. And okay. When I found out there was a group of veterans who were interested in creating a chapter, I contacted them and, and started going to the meetings. And a year later, I became the president of the chapter. And Ashley? Um, I learned about it when I lived in North Carolina. Um, I was part of a smaller local group um, uh -huh. for veteran farmers. And then when I moved uh, back to Vermont, I seeked out the Farmer Veteran Coalition. Oh. So if Vermonters want to get involved with the cause, how can they contribute? Well, there's two ways you can contribute. If you're a veteran and you're interested in agriculture, you can join our organization by going to the website, okay. which is farmvetco.org. Okay. Uh, it's free to join. It takes about five minutes. Uh, and then you'll become a, a member of the Vermont chapter automatically. Okay. Uh, the second way that you can support is when you see our logo on a product uh, in a store. Or is that the logo? The, our logo right there. It's Home a group. marketing logo that veterans okay. can qualify for. Okay. And if you see that on a product in a store or maybe on a table at a farmer's market, uh -huh. uh, then you know that your purchase is going to support a veteran farmer uh, and help him with your dollars to continue their career in agriculture. And is there ways on social media that you can reach out? We do have a, a website. Uh, and do you we have all, a Facebook page? We have a Facebook page specifically for the chapter, yes. So if, if I just search Farmer Veteran Coalition Vermont, I'd find it? You will. Okay, perfect. So where would you like to see this coalition in five years? Well, I'd like to see it continue to grow. Our yeah. membership uh, has grown every year pretty steadily, right. and we get more and more veterans uh, involved in agriculture. And I'd like to see the, the label and the logo continue to, be, to grow and become more well-known throughout the state so that when people see it, they understand what it is and, and is, what it means. Is this a Vermont-specific no, logo? No, this is nationwide. Nationwide. This is used by the national chapter. And what kind of products would I find it if I go in a store? Maybe I could hope to see this label on... What kind of products? We have a lot of uh, varied products yeah. uh, that our members produce, uh, maple syrup, okay. um, hydroponic greens. Um, we both raise pastured meats. Okay, um, so you have a meat collection. Yes, Yeah. So there, there's, uh, there's quite a variety. We have people that do honey. Okay, um, and there's, there's a select stores that you can get them at? Your, your hope is that maybe well, five each, years, every store? Each can... farmer has their own market, so okay. some sell okay. directly to stores, some okay. sell from their own uh, um, stores at their own farm and some go to farmers markets. Ashley, so um, I believe the Farmer Veteran Coalition provides support to veterans. What kind of programs do you offer? Uh, the Farmer Veteran Coalition has a, uh, the fellowship fund. Okay. Uh, veterans that are in, uh, that are part of the uh, Farmer Veteran Coalition can apply okay. for this grant. Up, they can get receive up to $5,000. Oh wow, that's um, potential. Yeah. And also even if you apply for it, like myself, last year I was uh, gifted a $1,000 gift certificate to track supply, um, okay. even though I didn't get the grant. So there's okay. still so other opportunities for support. We were right. able to buy a, a trailer that we de desperately needed for the farm. So that was a huge help. Oh, wow, yeah, um, financial support. Absolutely. Through grants and other programs? Um, we also, my, the, my farm works with uh, the Bennington Vermont Vets Home. Okay, and wow. we, we provide meat to the vet's home for special dinners that they have oh. uh, put on. When they did one for Memorial Day, okay. they did one for uh, the Bennington Battle Day. So uh, as Mark had said that every farmer has identifies his own market, whether it's a store or maybe helping with veterans. Um, and is this like a network that you can reach out and share resources? And we've been working together and okay. we've, we've been um, trying to uh, get more veterans on board and getting other uh, vendors uh, to know who we are, to okay. want to use the farmer, somebody with a homegrown by Heroes label okay. um, to sell products or in the stores or in restaurants. Okay.
Okay, well, thank you so much for taking time to share about this cause. Thank you for your service and for working towards this really uplifting and meaningful cause. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.